Today's video is all about true metallic golds. Because I was looking for a warm gold, I decided to begin from a copper base. Starting from black is always the best option when working with metallic paints. Still, I make sure to apply two coats of colors to achieve full opacity, making sure to paint the paint evenly along the surface. After all the armor was base coated, I moved on to washing it. I used oil paints for this, but normal washes will do just fine for now. As for the color selection, I used a very reddish brown to keep the warm tone I mentioned before. However, feel free to use brown or some other exotic colors like purple, depending on the look you want to achieve. Because I work with oils, once the paint had set a bit, I dabbed at the armor with pure solvent, in order to reactivate the paint and have it run to the recesses, revealing an untainted copper color on the raised surfaces. If you are working with normal washes, make sure to dilute them a bit to achieve a similar result, where we get minimal staining on the raised surfaces. With the shadows slightly defined, I moved on to layering gold over the raised details. Later, I'll look for darker shadows with another wash, but for now, I just focused on building up the gold color. Just like with the copper, two layers of paint were applied. The layering was applied, leaving some copper vase visible on some parts which were facing downwards or close to the edges. This will be the beginning of the transition of metallic paints I'll be building up. Here you can clearly see the difference of one and two layers between both legs. To keep highlighting, I added a lighter gold to the old gold. On the bottom left, you can see the base coat compared to the color I mixed to create an intermediate step, which will be applied before highlighting with a pure light gold. With it, I went over the surfaces which were more exposed to the light, which were easy to identify since, as you'll note, I'm going over where the light reflection of my lamp falls. And just like I've been doing till now, I applied two coats to make sure I get full opacity. After going over all the armor, I finished up highlighting using the pure light gold, going over the same places as before, but reducing the area of application. On some parts, it was just a matter of doing little dots and lines, but which in the end add up a lot to the overall look. Mixing brown with the previous wash color, I used this darker version to enhance the contrast between lights and shadows. This time, I diluted it a bit more, and thanks to the low surface tension of the oils, I was able to get some precise shading just by tapping at the surface with my brush, letting the paint do all the work. Any spillover can be cleaned by going over the surface with some solvent on my brush. If you are working with normal washes, don't worry, 
You can get a similar result by wetting the surface with water beforehand. Above, I'll leave a link to a tutorial where I go into details about this technique. I am very pleased with the end result. Dante being my favorite 40k character, I wanted to do something special. Yet, I didn't have the time or confidence to go for a full non-metallic armor. If you'd like to see me make a video on how I paint the rest of the details, you can let me know in the comments or vote for it in my community page. Have a nice week!